As a great philosopher once said, everyone makes mistakes, everyone has those days. Sometimes we misplace our keys or forget our wallets, and other times we leave a bug in a video game, allow players to exploit it, and then realise we've accidentally spawned an entire internet phenomenon. Now that last one might sound like the end of the world, but sometimes an in-game glitch doesn't have to lead to public apologies and the developers shelling out thousands in refunds. Consequently, today we're looking at devs who embrace the imperfections of their games, made light of problematic features, and used them to improve the title and the overall experience for the fans. And after you've perused our selection of mad bugs and glitches, make sure to hit like and leave your own experiences of turning a developer's fart into art down in the comments section below. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 times video games embraced glitches. Number 10, RuneScape The Falador Massacre. Back in 2006 when MMORPG RuneScape 2 was still just a wee bab, a player named Cursed Yu had just achieved a level of 99 construction. After such an arduous task, Mr. Yu hosted a house party at his in-game house in Falador and players showed up in droves to participate in a slew of activities, one of which included the fighting ring, allowing two members at a time to have a friendly PvP fight. However, after leaving Cursed Yu's house after a night on the sesh, the players that took part in the friendly punch-up soon found out that they had the game-breaking ability to attack other players. After a few minutes, anarchy erupted in the streets of Falador, as groups of partygoers ran around slaughtering uninvolved players. As those infected with the glitch spread to other major gathering spots like Edgeville, Remington, and Drainer Village, hundreds more innocent players were killed and the epidemic worsened. When the devs finally fixed it, some players received black marks against their names, whilst others suffered a lifetime ban on their account. However, the glitch is now a part of RuneScape's actual law and is recognised as a major historical event called the Falador Massacre. Canonically, the event took place between the Siege of Falador and the start of the Sixth Age. Number 9. Street Fighter 2 Combos Everyone who loves a good fighting game, whether they play Mortal Kombat, Tekken or Street Fighter, has a main character they know inside and out, with straight jabs and 20 button combos becoming as instinctive as their choice in the character selection screen. However, before Street Fighter 2 was released in 1991, combos simply didn't exist. It wasn't until shortly after the game's release that players found a bug they could use to exploit the game. Cancelling animations made attack to start the next one would create a chain of moves that could shatter your opponent's health bar if executed with precise timing. This bug was already known by the game developers though, but they left it in under the impression that it would be too difficult to achieve. At the time, the developers had no idea about the literal game changer they left for players to find. Almost 29 years after this genre-defining game was released and it accidentally introduced a way to chain your moves together, combos are now essential if you want to dominate a match in any popular fighting game, aside from button mashing of course. Number 8, Pokemon Missing No. This entry is less about game developers as it is the community embracing a glitch, but still, Missing No, which means Missing Number, is a notorious glitch and exploit in Pokemon Red and Blue. See, this is because the game uses a random battle encounter system that assigns all Pokemon a value and uses an algorithm that determines which little pocket creature you'll encounter while you're out in the wild or spelunking in a cave. However, through a sequence of unintended steps, the game would start to trigger encounters with the non-existent Pokemon Missing No. No. This strange glitch was also a very popular exploit as, for some inexplicable reason, encountering the D-shaped Pokemon would cause the sixth item in the player's bag to increase by 128, making it a great way to stack rare candies and master balls. Missing No has since been added as number 000 in the Pokedex and has a consistent moveset. Despite Nintendo brushing it off as a programming quirk, most fans will insist if you ask them that Missing No is indeed canon. Number 7, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08 Walking on Water. Tiger Woods is tied for first in PGA Tour wins, ranks second in men's major championships, and holds numerous golfing records. He is widely regarded as not only one of the greatest golfers of all time, but one of the most famous athletes of all time. And if you still need proof that Tiger Woods is an incredible golfer, back in 2007, EA unintentionally gave us it in the form of a glitch on Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08. This glitch allowed players to smack a golf ball 
whilst it stood in the middle of any water hazard, giving the term play it where it lies a ridiculous new meaning. The bug in question was found by YouTuber Levenator25, who uploaded it, calling the move a Jesus shot. And rather than simply fixing the bug or apologizing for the flaw in the game, EA's ad for the following game played a clip of the YouTuber's video with the message, quote, Levenator25, you seem to think your Jesus shot video was just a glitch in the game. And then the ad saw the real life woods walk out into the middle of a pond, tee up a ball and hit a hole in one. As he walked off, the words, it's not a glitch, he's just that good, appeared on the screen. Put simply, it's probably the best thing EA has ever done. Number six, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Caution, wet floor. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is known as being one of the best Call of Duty games to date. However, it was also notorious for its abundance of books, one of which was an exploit allowing players to slip under the map. After climbing onto the roof of a small building, if positioned correctly, the player would face down whilst pushing forward until they felt underneath the player space. Whilst in the glitch, the player could traverse the area without taking damage from others, rack up their kill streaks, and could even find a hidden machine gun. In 2016, then, when the game was remastered for current gen consoles, the developers had patched the exploit and popped a cheeky caution wet floor sign in the exact spot as a nod to its older, sneakier players. It's also worth mentioning that another exploit, yet again allowing players to get under the map, was later found on top of the wet floor sign. So if Call of Duty 4 gets yet another remaster on next-gen machines, we could end up with a tower of these signs stacked on top of each other. Number 5. Journey. The Climactic Ending. In 2012, that game company's journey glided wistfully onto our consoles. The indie gem managed to solidify its place amongst AAA giants to become a much-loved and talked-about game, which is somewhat ironic given that the game itself features absolutely no dialogue whatsoever. And the main premise is simple. You play as a clock being who is trying to get to the top of a mountain. Throughout the game, players meander through vast open deserts and dark caves, all set to a sweeping score. The, ahem, <coughs> pardon the pun, journey the game takes you on culminates in an end scene that sees the robed protagonist walk toward a bright light until they're no longer visible. The scene is an emotional crescendo built up by hours of witnessing the character's perseverance in reaching the mountain top. But the idea for this sequence actually came about when a test of the game completely crashed and the emotionally invested tester burst into tears thinking his character had died. Number 4, Mario Wall Jumping. Another glitch that required the player to act with very precise timing appeared in the early entries of Nintendo's Super Mario Saga. When timed correctly, our favourite mustachioed plumber, sorry Luigi, could jump to areas of the level otherwise unreachable to players. This was achieved in Super Mario Bros. by ensuring that, after a jump, Mario's foot was touching the top corner of a block and then quickly hitting the jump button again. The player would have to be travelling at some speed and determine where Mario would land to execute this frame-perfect glitch, but it could be pulled off with enough practice. Similar glitches also exist in Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World and Super Mario World 2. To Yoshi's Island. It was so popular that this game mechanic was then implemented in Super Mario 64, but somehow it's just not quite as satisfying now the developers actually intend you to do it. Number 3, Madden NFL 15, The Tiny Titan. Whoever came up with the expression size doesn't matter was clearly talking about former Iowa linebacker Christian Kirksey in Madden NFL 15. See, this in-game Kirksey on the roster for the Tennessee Titans should have stood at 6 foot 2 and weighed around 235 pounds. Instead, due to a fault in the game, he stood at a mere 14 inches, though by the looks of these brutal takedowns, he probably still weighed around 235 pounds. The tiny titan as he was dubbed went viral on social media. A slew of videos showing a mini Kirksey zipping around and taking men down by their ankles flooded YouTube and Vine. Yes, Vine, remember that guys? I feel so, so old. In true EA fashion, they handled this glitch in their own way. Again, instead of apologizing or fixing the bug, it became a feature. For one weekend only, players could take on a challenge to beat the pint-sized linebacker in a solo ultimate team game and win a special collectible that could be sold for a thousand in-game coins. EA and the real-life Christian Kirksey then dared all players to face off against the tiny titan and his team. Number 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, Krem Can't Sit Still. If you've ever been to the Skyhold Tavern whilst playing Dragon Age Inquisition, you may have noticed Krem. 
I mean, it's hard to miss him considering you can immediately spot him by his rather creative use of a chair. Sometimes he stands in it, sometimes he has one leg on it, and other times he'll be right behind it. Players flooded social media with screenshots and videos of Krem's peculiar sitting habits, solidifying its place in the Glitch Hall of Fame. And did Bioware fix the issue, I hear you ask? Well, as you might have guessed, it's quite the opposite. The release of DLC Trespasser saw if flustered Krem admit to Skyhold Tavern's bard that he would sometimes sit up on his chair to get a better look at her songs. That doesn't really explain how merging his left leg with a chair would help him see the songs better, but you know what, we're happy he found love in the end. Number 1. Devil May Cry Juggling the story of Devil May Cry is an interesting one that all started with Capcom's PlayStation 2 game, Onimusha. After it was found to have a glitch that meant the protagonist could keep enemies in the air with constant sword slashes, it sparked the idea for a game based entirely around this mechanic. Meanwhile, the first Resident Evil game for the PlayStation 2 was underway, and the plan for the new Resi game was to focus on a character named Tony, an invincible man with superhuman abilities who would explore a gothic castle to uncover his story. Worried that this new draft was a bit too much of a departure from the series though, the Resident Evil idea was handed over to a small team in Capcom. Tony's name then became Dante, thank god, no offence to any Tonys out there, and with plenty of great ideas and some real smart cookies, Devil May Cry was crafted and juggling was born. In the exact same way as Street Fighter 2 shaped the fighting game genre by introducing combos, Devil May Cry flipped the hack and slash genre on its head by introducing juggling, which was originally a glitch. So that's our list, I want to see what you guys think down in the comments below. Are there any games that embrace their glitches that I missed off here? And while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.